good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, or indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Maud, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2, episode 145. Let us now get underway with for this next episode. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just tried to pull my chair forwards, and the whole thing nearly collapsed underneath me. Bloody hell, I'm not that big. I've actually lost weight recently. I've gone from 83 to 82 kilograms, which is not that much, I know. But this, this chair really needs some sort of brakes on it because I keep every time I put my foot on the pedals I go back so of course I put my foot down and I go back anyway we've got a job to do job to do how far we got 47 hours 26 hours to go we need we're gonna have another rest stop I'm sure between now and then oh shoot I forgot to turn the mouse around and it's so super sensitive. Come on, mouse. Come on. Will that do? I think that'll do, won't it? No, we need to come. Th no. No. Bloody optical mice. Who'd have them, eh? Me, apparently. Merita, I can I please have. Oh, let's turn the lights on. That would help things a little. Stop there. Yeah, who was it who convinced Murta he needed a rat five anyway, eh? I don't know if we turn sensitivity all the way down. Held on a snipey button so it goes even slower and then lift it up like There. You know what that'll do? I'm gonna just leave it like that. <coughs> that'll do. So as I may have mentioned, I'm recording this straight after the last episode. The last episode being a fun one with Q&A. I don't need to look over to the side of the screen to read questions. I need, don't need to look at the camera to make sure I'm actually recording the webcam okay. I can just concentrate on the driving, which is what you guys want to see. This is going to be the last episode with the G27 until I have to give it back to Mike. So let's just make the most of it. Let's get up to speed. A bit more. Speed, speed, a bit more speed. Red line, change. We could probably change up now as well. 52 mile an hour in 10th gear. How are we looking for damage? 3% to the trailer, 22% to Matilda. Maybe I should just. Uh, maybe I should. Yeah. I might have to slow down a little bit for future episodes. I don't know. I know at least one of you will like that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I may have said that there's a little issue I have recently with which I'd like to discuss in this particular episode. The issue of high school reunions. Now, a bit of backstory for you all, because, you know, I know there's new people here watching Eurotruck that might get bored of it and disappear at some point, but to recap for everybody, uh, I've suffered with depression and I've had a pretty shit childhood. At primary school I was physically picked on, at high school I was mentally picked on. And recently a on my on my Facebook a high school end of class picture was posted. I was tagged in it. And as you can imagine, Mod wasn't too happy about this. <coughs> Mod isn't overly keen on pictures anyway. I mean he doesn't mind his face being on the camera and all that, but pictures? No, bad. Don't like pictures. One hand. One hand. Whee! But, straight away from the get-go, I can honestly count, on that particular photo, on one hand, how many people I still keep in contact with. I left high school 16 years ago. Okay? I'm 32. I left when I was 16. I went straight into college and employment. As in, when I wasn't at college, I was doing work in warehousing. Good money for a 16-year-old earning £250 a week. Very good money. So anyway, a lot of the people are commenting on this photo saying, Oh, wow, this is a blast from the past. Oh, wow, this brings back some memories. Oh, wow, high school was so good, wasn't it? And then just look at some of the things that people are saying, just thinking, 
You are a fucking retard. High school wasn't good. But then you look closer at the names and think, actually, most of the people that are commenting on this picture are actually tosspots that used to pick on me when I was at school. So, no. Fuck off. All this does is just conjure up all the bad memories, all the bad shit that I've managed to... Not, su not suppress, but deal with and move on from. It's taken me a long time to move on from my issues with high school. <coughs> I can honestly count on one hand how many people I keep in touch with from then. There would be a Amy, who was Adrian. And there is Liz. And that's it. I think that's actually all the people I keep in touch with from high school. Fucking Mr. Gear. <coughs> so, um, you can imagine my surprise when one of the biggest pricks in the world who gave me the most shit out of everybody, he's like, oh wow, there's some great comments on here, it's very happy, very lovey-dovey. Maybe, we maybe we should have a reunion on the go. And everyone's just like, yay, yay, that's a great idea. Oh my god, I haven't seen everyone in so many years. Blah, blah, fucking blah. And I'm, I'm sat there thinking, yeah, you guys had good times at my expense. And I wasn't the only person who got picked on either. So I just piped up and I says, well, nostalgia is a hell of a drug. People carry on, having a good time, commenting. And there's all reminiscent of the good times and everything. And I'm like, actually, you know what, guys? Fuck off. Full on fuck off. I enjoy my life right now. My life is good. It's taken me a long time to get over the bullshit, get over the shit that you guys gave me. I got, I'm in a good place now. I don't want to know any of you fucking cunts because you'll just drag me down to the level again, and you can't possibly be happy for anybody other than yourselves. Yourselves, you selfish dicks, go away. Enjoy your reunion, but keep me the fuck out of it. <coughs> I use far less swear words than the actual thing. It is. It's probably worded a bit differently, but. I untagged myself, I unfollowed myself, and then one of the two people that I keep in touch with from high school, about half an hour later, she messages me, and she says, yeah, just to let you know, your comment actually got a few apologies out of people. That actually pissed me off quite a bit more. Not the fact that she had taken the time to message me to say, yeah, you you got apologies, but the fact that I got apologies, it's taken people 16 fucking years to realise, hey, actually, we were a complete tosspot to mod when we were in school. So, why don't we think about saying sorry to him? No, I'm sorry, you've had 16 years to find me out and say sorry. If you know my real name, I'm not difficult to find on the internet, I really am not. I don't hide or anything. God, come on, Tildy, come on. So, it angered me quite a bit that people feel the need to apologise now, it's, it's too late, damage done. And then you get the odd couple of dickheads going, well, no one liked you anyway, mate. Well, Let's put this into perspective for you guys. I was that creepy little kid in the corner that nobody liked. Had no friends. But I had no friends because a couple of people gave me some stick. And then it just snowballed from there because everyone thought it was a great idea. To, you know, to jump on the bandwagon of giving somebody stick. Group bullying is shit. <coughs> it really is. In fact, bullying in any form is shit. And that's something I'm going to touch on later on in the episode, I think. Thank you. Speed camera? Yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Charge through anyway. No? Okay. Turn the steering wheel makes it very easy to travel at speed, actually, doesn't it? As long as you concentrate on what you're doing. <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry if this is uh, me recapping is a little bit all over the place, but... It's not, not so much a raw issue for me as, um, I can't believe the past is being dragged up by idiots. I've left the past in the past. I'd like to carry on. I've got some great friends around me that actually appreciate me for being me and not because I happen to be a cool kid who happens to wear cool clothes or I'm, I'm not somebody who's prepared to give somebody shit because they, you know, they're a little tosspot who is a bit shy, has issues with people, but hey. I should remember my final week at high school. It pissed me off so much because we were all given a blank book and we were told to go around for the last week, just go around all of the other pupils and get them to write in it a little bit something here, there. Most of mine were, hi, I didn't really know you. Hi, I didn't really know you. 
Good going to school to you. By the way, sorry I didn't take the time to get to know you properly. You seem okay. This is the theme of this book. I finally got around to burning it about uh, two, three years ago. Because there's no point keeping all of those memories. There's no point looking back and thinking, this is what people were like. I had to move on with my life, and for me, I could get closure by burning that book. Any reason I even found it is because um, Myrta and myself were cleaning out my room, and I've come across it as like, oh wow, all these bad times in here. Great. So, it's nice to know that towards the end of high school, people finally had the maturity to realise that they were actually wrong, and they wished they got to know me a bit better. But you know what? That's why I don't feel... I know a few of you are saying, yeah, but these guys were kids when they were giving you stick, and they don't. Th I don't think that you should... should Given so, I don't think you should be so hard on them because they were 16 and they could have. They, 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 don't be so hard on the mod because you know they were 16. They didn't know what they're doing. Well, clearly they did. If they're writing things in books like "I wish I'd got to know you better," I'm so I, I'm kind of sorry for not getting to know you. It, it just makes you think. If you're mature enough to write that, you're mature enough to appreciate what sort of harm you're causing me mentally. That's why I don't have any hesitation over telling these people to fuck off. Incidentally, one of the two people I'd still speak to from high school was actually somebody who gave me shit. But a few years ago, she got in touch with me, and she's like, I, I've come, I, I'm doing a bit of soul searching and whatnot, looking at my life and whatnot. I, I Please don't hate me for what I'm about to say, but I'd like to actually say I'm sorry for all the abuse I gave you during school. I'm like, okay. I accept that. And I did. She got to know me better, and now we're decent-ish mates. I say ish because we, I think we talk about once a month or so just to catch up. Nothing major, nothing heavy. But it's nice to know that, you know, someone has actually got the balls. Oh shit. <laughs> How bad's the trailer? Yeah. How do I select that without getting the mouse? Oh, I'm going to have to get the mouse. Fine, click. <coughs> mouse time, because we're going to have to repair Matilda a bit with our money. Colm discovered. Okay, where are we going? Colsis. Let's have a look at the map. Sensitivity back up, please. Yeah, a bit of an emotionally charged episode, this one, I know. Where were we? Around here ish, I'm guessing. Oh god, not even halfway to the destination. Deep. Deep. And where's the actual service point? There we go. Services. Bye bye money. Bye bye. Didn't want that money anyway. But at least Matilda's fully repaired now. Right, a little bit of turn. A little bit, a little bit. Loan installments, thank you very much. Aha! A quick lift does the job better, it seems. Right. Stop being special, mod. Anyway, engine on. <coughs> Let's not have the temperature gauge, because it's useless. Oh, seventh gear. Shit. Why am I pulling off in seventh gear? Well done, mod. Well done. But I think I've made the point.
It really did irritate me when this photo got posted and people are being so happy casually. And it, it although it doesn't surprise me that people have tried to apologise now, it's like, your conscience isn't clear, guys. You're just doing it because you feel bad all of a sudden. You just remembered, oh, wait, I was actually an arsehole, wasn't I? Yeah. Only one person actually approached me and said, look, dude, I'm sorry. I got a lot of time and respect for that. Must have taken some balls. I mean, I know my voice is still irritating and squeaky and whatnot, but I've grown in so many other ways, and I don't just mean physically. I've actually grown a pair now. But it's nice to know you still got the typical douchebags that are happy to make derogatory comments and say, yeah, whatever, no one likes me. Go, yeah, I wonder why nobody liked me. It took, it took a lot of strength to actually look at myself and go, you know what, this is what I don't like about me. This is what I should change. I don't like this, I don't like that. <coughs> Do what you can. But yeah, sorry that happened in the last few hours, and it's uh, quite a bit fresh in my mind, so I'm just offloading, because like I say, this is a blog for me as well, more than anything else. I like to share, give you guys an insight into the life of Mod, why he does subscribe so strongly to the life of, not the life, to the charity that is Papyrus. Papyrus being a charity that deals with teenage suicides and removing the stigma associated with. Now, I don't know how I got through the stuff I did get through. Because I've read so many stories of people killing themselves through going through less, and it makes me think, okay, am I just ignorant to the fact that suicide was an option? Am I just, you know, that strong thinking that I'll get better at some point? I spent most of my life thinking this is the way it's going to be. Okay, I'll just accept it. And I do dislike strongly when anybody says, it's okay, you're just making it up. You will wake up one day and you'll be fine. Fine. You be depressed. You see how the fuck it feels. And then you come back and tell me how it feels yourself. And you'll be like, oh, wait. Shit, you're right. Sorry. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fucking do one, you bastards. Keep on the road, Tildy. There's an old saying. You should walk a mile in somebody's shoes before you try to judge them. I subscribe to that theory. It's very, very true in many ways. Let's overtake the lock. Overtake the lock. Hope there's no traffic coming. Otherwise, we're going to have to do an e stop. Overtaking the lock. Without performing an e stop. 11th gear. Well, remember which gear's which in a bit. Maybe. I'm also did press the clutch, change gear, and then put the clutch back in. I think that's why we're missing gears, because I'm trying to do the bang, 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 bang. There you go, just like that. Bang. Changing gears like a racing driver, even though we're not a racing driver. Off, take the lock without full stop. Hoota! Squirrel. Oh, shoot. Go, go, go. Bye, squirrel. Actually, boink. I want a screenshot for this episode. I think that'll do. Come back, keyboard. Photo mode. I can't wait to get back to the controller. I honestly don't think I'm going to be sticking to the... to the steering wheel. It was a nice novelty for a few episodes, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to be sticking to it. Let's blag people a bit in the thumbnail. Let's give you guys this truck to look at. Maybe like, guys, guy, guy, mod, what's going on, mod? I need a good shot though. Maybe I should slow down a bit and go for an upper angle like that. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Actually. Come down a bit. Yep. Yep. Now um, blur strength down. 
<coughs> excuse me, saturation down a tad. No, up. Oh, there we go. How do we get rid of the lens flare? I don't know. I don't like the fact that the lens flare is all over the skeptical squirrel like that. Ah, it's sticking with it. No. Ah, oh, dear. That'll do, actually. I like that. I was going to blag you guys, but I've changed my mind. Aren't I such lovely, lovely... Let's play a few people. Yeah, totally. I know. Don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Boom. Dying. Dying. There's a thought. Can we go past him without hitting anybody? Let's find out. Beep, 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 beep. That's one thing we're going to look forward to when we get the controller back. Having a horn again. Because I at least don't know where the hell to put it on here. Is it this one? Oh! I found the horn! I found the horn! Yeah. Mod's got a horn. Mod's happy. Mod's very happy. He might actually stop now. But Mod's got a horn. Hee hee hee. Go, 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 go. Right, gaming dude. Gaming dude. Good old gaming dude. Who creator of the best mod pack in the world. I have an update for you with regard your email. And I'm sorry to keep you waiting for so long, but we'll wait for the guys to get back in touch with me. <coughs> and I thought it'd be better to address it I thought I could just write this in an email and give it back to you but thought actually no what they had to say was so nice I think it's probably best sharing with everyone and they all want to say that while it's a nice questionnaire and everything they feel it feel it would it'd be they feel it would be better if you were to create this pack on your own because then it wouldn't be a proper fan-made thing. You know like this trailer pack I'm using at the moment? The, the guys basically feel that like they, they would infringe on your creativity if... <laughs> if they were to try and give you answers to what sort of trailers they'd like or logistical names and whatnot. So they, what they're saying is they wanted to be a proper fan effort as it were. And they, they, they appreciate the fact that you've actually given them the opportunity to help me out in this way but they honestly feel that they would be more, they would, I think they, they, what they're trying to say is they'd like it more if you did it without any interference from them because otherwise they'd be trying to tell you no do it this way do it that way it wouldn't be a fan effort if the guys from Team Tuxedo got involved is what they're saying so that, that's why it's taken so long, dude, because um, they don't want to mess up your project. It, I mean, let's be honest, this trailer pack is it's, it's a, it's a, it's a reskin, but it's a very nice bunch of reskins, and I like it. And they like it too, and they don't want to ruin it. So I hope you can understand where they're coming from. But they also want you to be recognised as a great fan. That, that, that's essentially why I've said it publicly like this, as opposed to an email. Because this trailer pack you've made is great, and you are a great fan. You've been around for how long? Oh, somebody on the outside lane? Yeah, there was. So thank you, gaming dude. But, um... They, they're all looking forward, as am I, looking forward to the version 2 trailer pack. And on that nice happy note, I think we should find someone to pull over and... Oh, wait, 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 actually. Rest time, eh? We might have to rest up soon. Shoot. Okay, let's find someone to pull over, and then we'll do that. Don't drive into us. Don't he drove into us. He drove into us! I was watching that outside mirror. He was what? That one, that one on the right. He drove into us. Wasn't our fault. It was his. Also, I've been recording for like an hour solid now, more or less. Uh, I had a five minute break. I'll be honest. 
between doing Thursday's episode and this one, but my voice is starting to go quite badly now. Yeah, I feel blades at the back of my throat going, nah, 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 nah. Come on, Mad. Come on, Mad. Stop talking, Mad. <laughs> but yes, um, I suppose this is also a nice point in the episode to say thank you very much to Mike once again for the loan of his Logitech G27, separate gear controls, and pedals. It was fun, but now I've had the opportunity to live with the wheel for a decent amount of time. Bear in mind, these things are £250 for the top line G27 like we've got here. I can't justify that sort of money, and I don't think I want you guys to get me a steering wheel either, because I don't enjoy them. I really am not enjoying this. I mean, it's kind of fun, but I get more satisfaction out using the controller, I think. Do, 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 do. You know? But I don't like the fact that my room... If I was to get a steering wheel, I'd have to essentially rejig the entire room just to make either space for the steering wheel and or to get a setup which is solid. I mean, my table... Quite, you can't tell from the webcam, I don't think, but... Or can you? Yes, you can. The whole table is wobbling quite badly when... when the mouse goes vibrating all over. I have to have the mouse upside down. The mouse has to be upside down when I'm recording with the wheel. Otherwise, the, if, if the camera is hooked up to the mouse, the camera goes all over the place, which is not a good thing. The pedals, every time I stamp on the brake to do an emergency stop, my chair goes all the way backwards, as we've seen earlier. <coughs> this is nice. This bit here is brilliant. I like this. I like the manual gear changes. I like the fact that the clutch isn't actually that hard. It's a good, solid clutch, actually. Probably a little firmer than I've got in the Fiesta, actually. The Fiesta's clutch is nice, but it, because it's still a new clutch, it's still bitey, and it still wants to keep stalling, and I'm getting fed up with it, actually. And that Fiesta was fine until I had, it, had that clutch repaired. Oh, well. I'm not blaming the garage. I'm saying it could actually be maybe a residual problem left over from the clutch actually failing in the first place. It could be wear and tear on the gears, is what I'm feeling with the biting, but I doubt it. Come on, where's the rest stop? I need to pull over. I would like to take a few days off from YouTube and recover with my voice. I've been doing... I, I've had a bit of footage recorded and uploaded already. I've done a bit of Minecraft with the Pastafarian. By the way, you're going to love what he's done to Blackwatch. I uh, got him in to do a bit of renovation on the Tourist Information Centre, and oh my god, it's amazing. Ah, rest stop up ahead. So that's coming in the next few days, and I've got a special Minecraft skin just for that, because I wanted to represent the fact that I am ill and I am dying and I have plague. See how easily it did Darth Vader then? I think it was Darth Vader. Did it sound like Darth Vader? We shall now go to Alderaan, and we shall destroy your puny planet, Princess Leia. The force is strong with you. No, it's not the Darth Vader. I think I don't know. Is it Count Dooku? It could be Count Dooku. Or, or, or maybe, maybe it's my good buddy, Warlock 85 df Yes, I've decided my voice is now rough enough to sound like Warlock 85 df And it certainly feels like shit right now. It really does. So if I was to go fucking Bottas! But it actually sounds like fucking Bottas, and oh my god, I need to drink so quite badly. Yeah, filling up the tank and waiting all that. Or can it? Hmm. Mm. Ah, I needed this. Oh, my throat. It doesn't help when I do silly impressions. Really doesn't. Stab on the throttle. First gear. Flying start. Bing bing money. Let's come across this way and then cut across. Find ourselves a parking bay this way. Stop. <coughs> oh god. Yeah. Right. External camera for the first time for in a few episodes. On next Thursday's episode, we shall be returning to the lovely, strange, wonky camera, which is. That one. 
for one more episode to complete this job if we actually have enough distance to do it 600 miles yeah we could do that in one episode but for now thank you very much for watching guys goodbye Logitech G27 thank you very much again DF DF Mike <laughs> it's because there's a DF trailer in the background and we're just doing DF impressions thank you again very much Mike for the loan of the G27 it's been fantastic but I because of your generosity this week lending me the thing I've decided I don't want a steering wheel I was, was going to say, the desk is rickety and everything, and my chair is not solid, so I'd have to re basically repurpose my entire room just for a steering wheel that I don't physically have the space to take off and put elsewhere. I mean, I can't do anything with the keyboard here, my controller has to be unplugged in case it conflicts with that, my mouse has to have it turned upside down half the time. There's too many issues for me to have a steering wheel. So, guys, I've tried. I've tried to live with the thing for about a week, I can't do the steering wheel. But I hope you guys had some interesting footage to watch from this anyway. And you could you can see where I'm coming from. I'm sure there are people out there that do have the space for a proper setup that do enjoy the steering wheel experience properly. But unfortunately for me, in my current situation, it's not going to happen. So, dream big, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, Mike, for the loan of the G27. Thank you to everybody who's given me tips for how to set it up with regards to degrees, gears, pedals. Dream big, and we'll see you on Thursday for the final part of the no damage, no penalty, stupid camera angle, external camera angle, etc. Penalty challenge! Bye bye.